Hi guys, welcome to the channel of love. Good morning. It is 12 minutes past 10. Shall we uh, pick up from where we left off? I think that sounds like a good idea. I do have a lot of cards that <clears throat> I've been carrying um, to the sofa so that they're at hand. I mean, there's a lot of cards here. Belly's rumbling. Okay. Right. So we pick up from where we left off. Bless you, darling. Let's put these cards away from early hours of this morning. <clears throat> okay. Right. Um, where do we start today, then? Choices, choices. Okay. Um, good morning, Christine. Hello, beautiful. Hello, darling. What time is it for you? Is it early? Then work messages start coming through. There you go. There's two. Let me just get rid of those. It's good. About to start work. How are you doing? It's 5.15am here. Oh my goodness. And you're about to start work. Jeez, I remember those days when I was uh, having to start at 5.45. I mean, getting up at quarter past four. Latest every day. And uh, not a routine I um, am going to volunteer myself for. Again, I quite like my little setup I've got. 10 o'clock, that's quite nice, isn't it? Go to work for 10 o'clock, come home for 3. I work 5.30 to 1.30 p.m. Yeah, I would still, if I had the choice between doing an early shift or a late shift, I'd take the late shift. Hey, Trinity, and liking the name, Trinity Lover. <laughs> anyway, um, there is this freshness, though, to getting up very early, and when you finish at half past one, it does feel like you've got the rest of the day, um, pros and cons to it all. <laughs> right, let's uh, play with my little box of tricks. Mm. Interesting, because play with my little box of tricks, I can see husband, that is the secret agent, but the magician's there, but sexy, very exciting or appealing. Okay, right. So let me pull some cards out. I seem to have mingled these cards together, which are channelings from the tarot cards. Trinity, what time is it where I live? Well, I'm in England, and it is 16 minutes past 10 in the morning. It is 10.16. Oh, I was taken to a 10.66 and the Battle of Hastings. And, I mean, I'm attracted to songs. Um, I seem to pick up, you know, songs. <laughs> but we had a song when we were studying, uh, The Battle of Hastings. And it went along the lines of 1066, 1066, 1066 at Hastings. I don't know the words, but it's something of He came across the army of England He came across the army and won He tore the Saxons down and won the English crown William, William <laughs> The Conqueror <laughs> 1066 1066 1066 at Hastings. <clears throat> I remember doing a few carnivals in Ca in Hastings in Hastings <laughs> when I was younger. I was in a marching band, a majorette band, but uh, I wasn't very really good at like twizzling the baton. <laughs> so um, I would be in the band playing musical instruments. 
and uh, yes, we would do carnivals. <clears throat> I enjoy doing carnivals. Okay, right, these cards have got heavy. Whoa, 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 whoa. And we've got Restless Nights. Light at the end of the tunnel. It's good to hear. We're seeing the light at the end of the tunnel. We have unconditional love. You know, at the beginning I said about choices um, all these cards I have choices but I chose not to say decisions there's a difference I've got choices that's different to making a decision okay got to tap into our sixth sense sixth sense your sixth sense okay right let's have a look at these cards and uh a bit of a deeper meaning. Should we say cheers? Cheers. That's the skeleton. Rebirth. Born again. You know, when you're in that, uh, that deaf energy and it feels like you're losing everything that you were accustomed to, you're given chance to go again. It's like a new lease on life. It's that fall energy. Take that leap of faith. And you get to go again, making your own decisions, making your own choices. It's just how would you live that life if you had an opportunity to start again? All that you are accustomed to is taken out of the picture and you find yourself standing there, stark naked. Um... Wondering what to do. Because you just like lost it all. We get to go again. You get to choose your own friends. Your own soul family. You get to choose how you behave. How you want to behave without anyone interfering. With their opinions. <clears throat> huh, anyway. Christine, definitely restless nights for sure. I definitely see the lights. <laughs> Cheers, Christine, darling. That's a, a fine example of that comment that was on the thing there is uh, don't listen to other people's opinions. Listen to Tap into your own sixth sense. Listen to what feels right for you. Cheers. Cheers to the channel of lovers. Unconditional love. Okay. Let's use these cards. So what I was saying, they've kind of mingled into each other. They're the tarot messages and um, emotion cards. I get so emotional, baby, every time I think of you. I get so emotional, baby, ain't it shocking what love can do? Unconditional love for oneself, for one's emotions. Honour your emotions and feelings. Honour your soul. Merry, cheerful and lively. Okay, I was going to say, here we are this morning, bright-eyed and bushy-tailed. And what come through was, well, maybe not so much <clears throat> the bushy-tailed, but the bright eyes. And I started singing the song, bright eyes. I really don't know the words again. <laughs> Burning like midnight fire. Hold on a second, another... A chatty at work this morning. Uh, let me just get rid of that comment. Um, yeah, so I started singing that. Bright eyes. 
What film is that from Watership Down? Uh, it might not be. I don't. I haven't really watched that uh, that movie that I can remember. Rabbits. And might make you cry. <laughs> I've heard. Bright eyes always been a nickname for me. Well, there it is. That's what comes through, Christine. Bright eyes. Are we bright eyed and bushy tailed? And it was like, not so much bushy tailed, but we're bright eyed. Okay. Oh, there's another card under here. Okay, thank you. Nostalgia. A sentimental longing or wistful affection for a period in the past. Restless nights. When you felt when you felt cheerful and lively, I mean that's the uh, that's the energy that you've got to follow. You know that energy within you when your soul feels cheerful, lively, sexy, exciting, appealing. <laughs> and wanting some of that back, <laughs> wanting that feeling back. It's a sad, sad situation. Always seems to me that sorry seems to be the hardest word. Well, you could try I love you on for size. That's quite, <laughs> it's not just one word, is it? It's uh, <laughs> three. And you've got to say all three, haven't you? You can't just go love you. <laughs> I love you. Sincere. <laughs> Candid. Truthful and straightforward. And I plan on resurrecting this connection. I feel there has a there has been a decision made once we looked at our uh, our choices. Okay, the bottom of the deck, I've never felt heartache like this before. It hurts. I'm going to, um, I've got the little Scrabble tiles. Let's see what wants to come out. So I told you yesterday, or it might have been early hours of this morning, well, whenever, like, I told you in my last reading about these Scrabble tiles that I was using, and when I was trying to do them, like, to find out what's going on um, with the masculines, it was coming out really uh, scrambled, okay? But then when I got some tiles for myself, it came out with Zen, and home. So I'm just gonna give these little scrabble tiles. I'd like to get some charms. My birthday is approaching. I may suggest make a suggestion to my to my children that uh, I would like some charms. I mean I'm appreciative and satisfied with you know just their love. <laughs> we got an O. Oh. But I know they want to buy me something, and they'd rather get me something that I will use. And I do like them making their own decisions, but I might ask for some charms. Oh, oh, yes, okay. Oh, oh and oh. Look, what's coming through? Look. Well, it's an eye, but just not a capitalised look. A, A, R. N. Nah. <laughs> I don't know. There's a lot of uh, just. It feels like someone's a bit speechless now. Okay. That's what's coming through. A lot of vowels that are struggling to like say them. A R. <laughs> nah. <laughs> Interesting. It's a bit scrambled, isn't it? Right, we'll maybe play with them again a bit later. Okay, we're going to go, we're going to clear this away. I've told you I've got lots of cards. Look at this. Healing a broken heart. Right then, let's, um, let's have a look at the power of love. 
<clears throat> Unconditional love. Hi, Ankita, if that's how I pronounce your name. Good morning. Cheers to all you newcomers and to, um, I was going to call you the rowdy lot, but you're not rowdy at all, my channel of lovers. Hmm. You're rowdy for love. You're ready for love. Okay, so let's go to the power of love. Jeez, there's a lot of books here. But I'm in no rush. I said I was going to spend in uh, the morning with you. Ankita, I am doing a collective reading, so I will not be answering any personal questions. But if you sit back and, le and listen to the lesson, it was like you were at a lesson. You've been drawn here for a reason. Maybe your answer will be answered. But um, I'm tapping into the energy that the divine wishes me to tap into. So I'm not going to go off track and, uh, and tap into yours individually, darling. So, but I imagine you will find your answer. So we have the power of love. Integrity. You demonstrate the truth and honesty of your soul. My heart is like beating in my chest. Of course it is, but, you know, like a big bass drum. Boom, 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 boom. Mm -mm -mm. Oh, I'm going into like when my marching days, my marching band days. And uh, I played many instruments. The bell lyre, which is like a xylophone, but you hold it up high and it's ding, 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 ding. ding. I think I can even, well, I can remember all the beats, the drum beats. I could be on the front drum. Or I could be on the big bass drum. I could be on the bell lyre. Anyway, so, um, but I was taken to more of a, um, a Christmas jingle that we had. That was really good. Jingle, do you say that? It's a, um, <sighs> I don't know. You know, a mix of songs. What are they called? <laughs> it's like slipped my mind. I was going to say a melody. But uh, be lots of Christmas songs rolled in to our routine. And I like that one. Anyway, can we get back to this, Lucy? Yeah. Integrity. You demonstrate the truth and, and honesty of your soul and manifest love with your every action. So have an unconditional love for yourself. Integrity. Let's read this card. There is a great chasm between believing in something and demonstrating it to the world. Walk your talk is the mantra of this card that bridges this gap. You can read every spiritual book available, but, th but if you don't practice what you've accepted in your heart, then this is all for now. Holding love and compassion as the cornerstones of your belief system is very different from manifesting them in the real world. Integrity is a state of wholeness and completeness of being. When all the pieces of your psyche are unified as one, you don't have to try to be compassionate. You just are. A person with integrity follows through on their commitments. If you tend to second guess yourself or are filled with conflicting opinions, you might still be struggling to find your authentic self. And that's okay. Life is about learning to be a better you. And if you aren't learning something new every day, that's a wasted opportunity. To know whether you are coming from an integrated space, notice your behaviour during a time of chaos. If there is a gentle quiet of the mind and a clear path is seen, then love is present. When you come from this centre, you are in the moment, 
not swayed by the past or the future. You shine a beacon of, of self-assurance that draws all good things to you. That's a beautiful card. Okay. Um, I'm thirsty. I'm thirsty. I'm Lucy. Nice to meet you, Thirsty. Although it's Tuesday. <laughs> I'm just amusing myself here, I mean. <laughs> I'm going to use the magical uniforms. I'm, I'm actually looking for my glasses. I don't know whereabouts they are. They're on the floor. Oh, no, they're, they're not. They're here by the side me. They were on the floor last night. It's like I've forgotten. I've done the second reading and I picked them up. Oh, okay, right. Magical unicorns, what would you like to say to us this morning, please? Grandparents, you have a special bond with a grandparent that can never be broken. <clears throat> Well, we must read this. It's not a card that comes out often. So, okay. Whereabouts is the book? I feel a bit all over the place. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> I've just got the giggles now. Okay. Grandparent. This card wants you to know that your grandparent loves you very much. You have a special bond with a grandmother or grandfather or both and their love is helping you right now. No matter what, you and your grandparents will always be connected by this love. You will always love and help each other even if you're far away from each other. That's because the special bond that you share travels everywhere, even from heaven. Now, I've been having my parents come through. I've been calling them through to speak to them. And um, this was something that they were pointing out to me, is that they are being the grandparents. Um, however, to my own children, but also, like, they are grand. <laughs> They're the grandparents. <clears throat> Almighty parents. <laughs> Your love makes your grandparent very happy. He or she is also very proud of you and wants to help you discover your hidden talents. If you'd like help from this grandparent, just ask. You can also, it doesn't say the also part, it says you can ask for help by holding a silent mental conversation, by writing a letter or by asking directly. Your grandparents will do whatever is possible to help and probably will help you in even better in an even better way than you could have imagined. The best way that you can help your grandparents is by being a happy and healthy person. Take really good care of yourself, the unconditional love now. Do the right thing, integrity. And you'll continue to make your grandparent very proud of you in all ways. <clears throat> okay. Right, I'm going to go to these cards again. Tap into your sixth sense. <laughs> in the energy of those silent conversations. A zest for life. I'm singing, uh, I'm changing the words myself now. It's a zesty, everything about you so zesty. You don't even know what you've got. Okay. Good morning, gal gal. Good morning, channel of love. Let's jump on the Tuesday morning love train. I love that song. That's the way it goes on love's train. You don't need no, you don't need no ticket to ride. <clears throat> okay. 
Good morning, Gal Gal. We have this zest for life. Life feels all zesty. <laughs> okay, let's go to the journey of love. <clears throat> Three to one. Just, I'm noticing how I've kind of covered up the unconditional part. But, uh, I'll put like a line through it. Anyway, we'll just read this message. It's card number 10. Sometimes hard strings can be broken and you just got to keep on going. That's the way it goes on love strain. Card number 10. There is a heavenly child in your midst. It may be within your heart, in your womb, or a glimmer in your eye, soon to be. So we've got the grandparents here and they're taking care of like our children um, as well as ourselves. <laughs> so there is a, a heavenly child in your midst. It may be within your heart, in your womb or a glimmer in your eye soon to be. This child holds the key to the fulfillment of a process that is happening for you now. The child might be a physical culmination of your marriage or commitment to another. It might be a symbolic birthing of a new self after a time of learning to bring male energies of protection and discernment together with female energies of feeling and creativity, whether within yourself or in your relationship with another. The child might symbolically be a new life an improved relationship, a book, a new job, a completely renewed way of dealing with what was once a challenging issue, and it says in brackets, and so soon will not be an issue for you anymore. Just to name some examples. From masculine to feminine to child, there is now just one, a new reality dawning with grace. Hey Echo, how are you doing this morning? This oracle holds a message for you. New life is upon you now. You are being reborn and you will give birth to what is meant for you this lifetime. There is no need to worry. Just pray with an open heart that you may be supported to fulfil your destiny. You already are, of course, but per but prayer can help you realise it. The rest is in the loving and capable hands of the divine. <clears throat> okay. Let's read this poem. Cheers. Rebirth. <laughs> Getting ready. What's what? I don't know why I make these popping sounds with my mouth. Spirit does it. I oh, know you can see like all my skin on my finger now. Let's not do that. It's trying to heal. Okay. <laughs> right, the poem. <clears throat> Love is what makes the heart beat faster. I felt it. Echo heart, echo hay. <laughs> the lump in my throat. So love is what makes the heart beat faster. The lump in my throat. The feeling of missing you so much that I can't wait to be with you again. And then we are, and I look in your eyes deeper, and I know the unspoken words that say, I love you, and feel words in return. How short each lifetime seems, but what I feel with you lasts forever. May love be the compass that guides you on the course of a lifetime. Beautiful. 
Okay, let's go to the Law of Attraction cards. These two cards just flipped over, so we should read them first. Okay, have these got numbers on? They have. So I can read from a book. So we're going to, we've got 14 and 17 here. So it says, I see myself attracting, harmonising intent. So let's look at this one first. I've, I'm lisping. Okay. I see myself attracting only those in harmony with my current intent. And I'm getting clearer and clearer in every moment about what it is that I want. It matters not what others are choosing. What is important is that I am pleased with myself. And as I see myself, I certainly am. That's nice. What's important is that I'm pleased with myself. And as I see myself, I certainly am. So let's go to page number, was it 14? 14. I'm reading from uh, Divine Guidance. <clears throat> the answer is you need to make miracles. So let's go to page 14. Okay. Well, it's um, the preface. <laughs> 14, preface. So I should read this page. <clears throat> we physically live the miracle of life on this living, breathing planet every day. We have free choice and free will. We have the ability to love and grow, to move in any direction, and to climb the highest heights that we can dare. Yet how often are we free to feel completely happy? When we are able to let go of our doubts, something magical begins to happen. Life shifts to another gear. It begins to give us what we thought we could never have. It works with and for us on our behalf. This is only the beginning of the shift that comes to pass. The rest is put in place at the exact time it is needed. All we have to do is to recognise and allow it. Before our time of birth, we were in the realms of spirit communicating and connecting more with God, with Source and with life. We were more able to trust the process for dualities were not in place, dualities of the ego and the mind. Every soul alive is eternal. During its existence, it will experience everything. Only then can it really know life's true meaning. Miracles are not the stuff of myth and legend. They're an everyday occurrence from ordinary to quite profa profound. They're not things of magic, but more life's own helping hand to put in place what comes to pass for the highest good. They are evidence of the original Big Bang Theory still playing out. The raging battle between positive over negative vibrations. And we ourselves have primary roles in this enfoldment. Every soul alive is individual yet linked eternally with Source, God and Earth itself. Each is on a journey of discovery and self-improvement. Everyone has karma, tasks to hone or overcome. Each is on the level of attainment earned to date throughout the many different lifetimes of its existence. Each is physical on earth today for its own reason. Brilliant. That was brilliant. Come on. That's what I've just read to you. So let's have a look at card number 17. 
I can change my life by changing my thoughts. You sure can. <laughs> By choosing a thought that feels slightly better than the thoughts you have been thinking, you can gradually change the thoughts of your thoughts. You can gradually change the direction <laughs> of your thoughts. By focusing upon a better feeling thought, the law of attraction will respond to that thought and therefore the balance of your thoughts will now improve. So let's go to page number 17. Interesting. We start with the words, the valley of death. So that's where we will, where we will start, the valley of death. The valley of death also relates to periods of darkness, stress and turmoil through negative thinking, pain, suffering, loss and misshapen belief while living upon earth today. In our darkest, saddest, most fearful hours, as well as in our better ones, we will be taken by the hand and led forward into peace, balance, understanding, light and love, to feel safe and sound. It means that we can always access what is needed to assist the moment playing out for its highest outcome, no matter what is happening to what or whom, how good or bad. Each new day, we witness... Ex how does this make sense? Each new, each new day, we witness is exactly that. It's a blank, clear, open space, and we can write upon or program as we see fit, meaning that we really do hold the key to our entire destiny and life firmly within our own grasp at all times, that we are not always the victims of circumstance that we think. At every moment, two trains of thought. The trains have been, um, well, actually, I heard the trains, <laughs> they're quite long. <laughs> it was gone one o'clock this morning, and I've never really heard them like that before, but the trains were quite noisy. One was heading south, one was heading north. I take it with their, their cargo. Um, but that's interesting that I heard that and paid attention to it. So at every moment, two trains of thought, two opinions are always in existence for us to choose between. Positive or negative, light or dark. Light refers to truth, to balance, peace and love, to the bottom line of what's occurring. All other thoughts reflect varying shades of darkness, such as jealousy, doubt and fear, stress <clears throat> and thoughts of lack, low confidence and self-esteem, and the unending kaleidoscope of negativities that exist. That's all there is. All we do and all we are fit into one, all we do and all we are fit into one category or the other. If like attracts like, then we are either in the positive or the negative at any moment. Every act followed through from this point forward adds live energy to matter and to form. The reality we each experience stems from this. All experiences are created in exactly the same manner from waves of energy, light and dark, that we produce and give life a meaning to, either consciously or not, for the whole of the time span that we exist here. Okay, do you want me to just finish? We'll read up to how to use this book because... We're just about to go into an I am I uh, statement. We finished till we finish this book. I don't mean that. Look, how to use this book, it says here. We're going to read up to here. <clears throat> so we're turning the page um, after the word his. <laughs> I am I. To make life work and to take it forward, 
each person must become more aware of the thoughts and behaviour patterns he naturally generates. Every passing moment, he actively attracts and creates his version of the world that he surveys. All he does in his own life, he adds to the world as a whole. He adds and computes this to me as his own take on reality and what life means. I am I. Each day remains unwritten until you give it meaning, charge and substance. You give reality to what you choose to think about. To be within the love that means to be within the love means that you operate from truth and light. By remaining there consistently, consciously, you send balance, peace and healing to troubled areas of the world as they appear. I am I. You are helping to disperse the fear and darkness for your own life, for friends and loved ones, for strangers and for me. I am I. At least two options, two views are always available to every question, choice, decision or presenting moment. Divine guidance will take you by the hand and guide you through them easily and precisely in a way that resonates with where you are. This is such a beautiful reading, this one. Okay. <clears throat> that was good. Let's clear away these cards now. Okay, I can't stop the song that's coming through my mind. I'm not sure if I really want to sing it out loud, but I've got to. But it's a keep on burning. Keep on hiding, cause one day I'm gonna be the one to make you understand, oh yeah, I'm gonna be your man. <laughs> We're going to the soft tarot now. I'm just thinking if I just need to keep on top of um, putting the cards away. Otherwise, I'm going to be left with a with a mess to tidy up. So, let's put these cards away. The ones that I've used. <clears throat> okay, the energy is coming through soon. About you know, taking a breather. How long have we been on for? 45 minutes. And, um, I'm going to carry on just for now, though. But I, th I feel like I'll be going away and coming back. <laughs> just need to get some fresh air. Okay. It's like something hit home. Interesting. Just need to digest that, what was said. Okay, well, let's have a look at the Scrabble cards. The Scrabble cards, well, we can call them whatever we want to call them. What did you want to give me? Okay, we can do these. Let's have a look. Oh, Ard. R-D. Okay, Ardman. Is it Ardman? Um, like well, Wallace and Gromit? Arkman, I don't know the actual. I'm just coming through what was there. More cheese, Gromit. Arcades coming through. Um, mm. Arseholes coming through. I'm just saying what comes through. Such an ass. Ooh. Meet the fuckers. Asshole. <laughs> Let me see the F there. Okay. The V sign. Someone giving someone the fingers. So, arcade. 
I work in an arcade, but <laughs> not as in like a, you know, a computer arcade. Because when I'm taken to an arcade, it takes me to um, uh, amusements, um, you know, um, slot machines and games, uh, gaming arcade. Like Disney Quest. <laughs> I don't believe Disney Quest is still there. But that was a, a big arcade, um, gaming arcade. But that was what was coming through. The arcade that I work in is a is a row of shops undercover, and you walk through an arcade, <clears throat> which I always feel that people walk through like with tunnel vision, and just like you just see the light at the end of the tunnel. You don't really pay attention to what's actually around you. So until I was working in the arcade, I wouldn't have been able to have told you what other shops were in the arcade. Anyway. Piss offs coming through. Okay, why is someone's a bit, you know, um, verbal, uh, nasty? I mean, I think I feel as if like someone's tolerance has just gone. They don't want to be nasty, but it's just like piss off, leave me alone, fuck off. <laughs> You're an asshole. That kind of energy. Uh, embarrassing. I feel like someone's been a. I just heard he's ping pong wizard. Okay. That's interesting. I feel like someone's maybe, you know, if you go away on holiday, maybe there's been an argument while you've been out in the amusement, you know. And, uh, someone's just been a complete arsehole. It's just embarrassing. Oh. It's just a bit worse than hanging around with embarrassing people. They ruin your reputation. <laughs> they destroy your character. <laughs> anyway, okay. Rose is coming through. I was taking some more of a, um, oh, what are they called? A ro rose, a wine, a rose wine. Um, <clears throat> that's the kind of wine I'd probably have if I was to drink any wine. So I'm not even keen on the wine. Rose, you. Vows, you, Rose. Rosso, Rosso, you could. Um, I'm trying to think what's it called when you like steak or chicken and you rosatia I don't know if that's the right word Rosi rotisserie no <laughs> rotisserie <What's... laughs> help me out here guys like you put a pig okay you put a steak through it and then you turn it above a bonfire the fire and you cook the pig oh, I was taken to um Lord of the Flies and uh, I think they're saying they don't know squeal little piggy they're not very nice to the to the uh, cuddly one the boys are nasty do they hurt him severely I think they do <clears throat> right, okay. Right, that's that for that. Oh, it's got extremely warm in the room. I'm going to, um, I thought we were going to the soft tarot. Well, I've just picked up the tarot of sexual magic. But we'll go to the soft tarot first. Look at the bottom here, it's peace. Peace on earth. Can it be? Peace or piss? Piss. Someone's pissed, drunk. They can just piss off now. Okay. <laughs> the song that's coming through is uh, uh, Show me the way to Amarillo Every night I've been hugging my pillow Dreaming dreams of Amarillo Sweet Marie who waits for me Sha la 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 Okay, we've got change, it's in reverse And we've got failure, it's in reverse so, um, change is happening. The Four of Pentacles. Let's turn that around the right way. We just need to turn things around the right, right way. There's a light, there's a dark. I'm not wanting to feel like a failure and that things have to change, but things do have to change because things are failing where you are. A bit dark. 
it is a bit dark, isn't it? And we have the Hierophant. So that's the card of marriage. I mean, look at all these, I don't know, faces. Faces. It's like different places, same old faces, miserable faces, shock, scared. And that's because, well, like attracts like. So, Good morning, Cynthia. Good morning. I corrected a masculine who called me a girl this morning. My response was, I'm not a girl. I'm 28 woman. I'm a 28 woman. Thank you. Yeah, girl. <laughs> um, not directly to me, but um, the same happened with my children. Um, that they refer to like me um, as um, like that girl. <laughs> I was like, oh, they call me a girl? <laughs> okay, interesting. Um, I take it they hadn't like seen me, but heard of me and assumed I was a girl. I am a girl. <laughs> you are a girl, Cynthia. <laughs> Innocent. Anyway, um, like attracts like. Look at all these ghastly faces here. Now, the high front there is holding the key. It's a very Egyptian kind of energy, like that's in the middle. Just there, can you see? Oh, what was that? Do you know, it's that, you know when a Coke bottle, like, I don't know, cracks uh, with the air inside? Well, that's just happened uh, in the dining room. And I just heard Belle kind of go, mm. What do you want to do? Because, look, there's a little boy there. Yes, you may be. I'm a, I'm a little girl, okay? Right, I'm f nearly 47 now. <laughs> but there's still that girl. I'm still a girl. And you're still a boy. And I'm still a daughter. And you're still a son. Even if we have daughters and sons of our own, we are still that daughter, son, child. So, um, and it's speaking about, what's he, oh look, he's sticking the fingers up. Look, he's actually showing like, it, it's like you've, you've been given permission to handle people the way, maybe you wouldn't normally be so direct and truthful with them and honest and hurtful. <clears throat> but it's like you can't stop yourself. So this is divine doing this clearing here. Cynthia, I am, haha. I think it was the, the referee into the... Oh, wait, you refereeing? <laughs> <laughs> Referring to the cuteness phase of girl, of girlhood that made me cringe. <laughs> I love little me, but she got creeped out. Yeah. But, uh... <laughs> That was just a triggering point, wasn't it? I'm more amused. I'm like, okay. <laughs> I'm still convinced I'm 18. <laughs> so we have the higher friends. Okay, so let's, um, we'll work off of this message we'll bring it up to the hour mark five three five three is on the counter um we'll spend 11 11 together because if we go for the hour we've got six minutes and it's 11 and six but i can laugh now because you have absolutely <laughs> yes <laughs> and that's what i do i laugh when um earlier on when i was reading a message about like, look at yourself, how you, how you handle yourself, like, during chaos. I tend to giggle. Or if I watch people, like, running around chaotically and their behaviour, I just tend to be, yeah, it's quite fascinating to watch. Like, people can get very, very stressed about the uh, what I view as being, like, the simplest things. It's like there's always a, a spiritual solution. <laughs> And normally I would giggle, giggle at them and it calms them down. It's like, hey, <laughs> you know, and they're saying, you know, I'm really stressed. And <laughs> I've even had one of my colleagues, like, you know, demonstrating, like, poking someone's out, eyes out with, like, I just want to 
I'm like, oh, interesting. I'm in a very good mood. And you just bring around their energy. They, It's like you can't be in that vibration if you're around me. It's like you're going to have to adjust your energy to, um, uh, to meet mine because I'm not coming down there. And it just doesn't phase me anymore. Other people's dramas. It's like, that's your drama. You're attracting that. Um, you just send them love. Send them love. Give them a hug if you can. <sighs> I've gone to the Tower of Sexual Magic. Look how long your hair has got. Oh, he's like too busy looking down her. Into her breasts. Right. The Knave of Wands. Face burning up thinking about it in a good way. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Haha, when I had to do presentations back when I had to turn my back to the crowd to giggle and then face them and I'd always ace it. My teachers thought it was hilarious great. I could feel my face burning up thinking about it. You get over these fears, don't you? I just saw the Ace of Cups. Nice. Celebration. Is it a bit too early <laughs> for this? <laughs> it's the words that are coming out like the Scrabble. <laughs> nah, it's not too early. It's never too early for some cupping. <laughs> I'm going to find out some more about this card. Let you just have a look at that image. You want the Scrabble cards? Yeah, we can go. They're not Scrabble cards, they're tiles. Yeah, but they're just used for divination purposes. Puppies coming through. like a fumble a play <clears throat> there's just a few we're missing some vowels aren't we okay so we've got to be serious oh my ears are just running like, it's still not making sense to me let's go to the journey of love yes let's <laughs> i owe you okay Becoming. This is like I owe you one. Um, I owe you. But then what's coming through is Bross, twins, brother beyond, brother beyond. Completely different band. But um, I owe you nothing. No, nothing at all. Becoming. Card number 34. So there's this energy of saying, like with the Hierophants here, you can say to someone, you know, I owe you fuck all. <laughs> You've had all you're going to have out of me. Uh, piss off, fuck off. <laughs> it is that energy. Do one. <laughs> Be gone. Because, like, it, there's this energy of, I know who I do owe something to. So, we're becoming. I owe you a good time. Thirty-four. We read from the book as well. Um, it's eleven eleven, guys. So happy eleven eleven. Page thirty-four. Oh, I'm reading from the book first, and then we will read, like, from the divine guidance book. Okay. There we go. Be coming. But we read from here first. 34. I'd just like to show you that I'm reading from. Um, I think it starts mid-sentence. I'm a bit congested here. <coughs> but in normal daily life, when intention, time and earth's... Well, I'm, I'm going to let you look at it. <laughs> and then I'm going to let you have it. <laughs> I 
I can feel my face burning up. In a good way. <laughs> but in normal daily life, when intention, time and earth's raw energy knit together and join as one against all odds. Each time we let this happen, a live miracle can occur. Humanity is the single most powerful force after nature and earth itself. When your earthly time is through and you review what flowed from you, <laughs> will you consider yourself an asset or a drain? Utilise this day to become your full potential. I like this masculine because I was going to say, you know, other tarot readers would have got little, you know, pebbles out and we best cover this card because, well, for one, you know, one is not monetized, so we don't have that issue, okay? But this gentleman, look, he's helping us out. He's, like, covering all the parts so that uh, we get to see this card without any uh, alterations to it. <laughs> oh, those big wheels are turning, going somewhere, full steam ahead. Hmm. Whew. Everything always works out for me. I love that. Uh, that was one of Simon's uh, uh, mantras, affirmations. Everything everything is always working out for me. And I mean, he would listen to a, a meditation that would, that's all it would say at the beginning. I don't know if it ever went on to anything else. But he was so good at practicing that and astral traveling. He'd go into meditation and he would leave his body. And I remember when he was in the hospital and um, we went to visit him, uh, me and the girls, and um, we went in there and he was sleeping, what I thought was sleeping. So I said to him, come on, we're going to get something to eat and we'll come back, let him rest. And uh, <clears throat> when we went back up, he said, I, I could hear you come in. He said, but I was like, I didn't want to come back into my body. So I was, I was floating, travelling. Okay. Skittles 420. It's so interesting that you put that um, Skittles 420 because when I said happy 1111, <laughs> what went through our mind is like 1111 11, 11 has its own kind of ring, just like happy 1111, like happy 420. So when I see 1111, it's that kind of feeling. <laughs> it's that kind of high. So Luke, Luce, what's my name? Lucy. Luca, I was going to say. Okay. Lucy kicks down that wall, fourth wall, because she's real, ha-ha. So, <laughs> yeah. But I chose not to say it, but there we go. I have said it. Let's get this, uh, we've been on for 63 minutes now. 13 seconds. Let me carry on with uh, this reading, and I'll finish off with Becoming. But we're reading this uh, Divine Guidance. The answers you need to make miracles. Right. God requires man's assistance. Thank you. See? <laughs> God requires man's assistance. The humour is good today. I'm not, I'm liking it. Well, I think you should just crack on with that then, uh, uh, Chucky. Really? <laughs> if, uh, if you really don't like your wife, I would be, uh, yeah, considering and guiding you for divorce. This has me thinking I hate my wife so much. I need a fucking divorce. Absolutely. You shouldn't really be with somebody that you dislike. or So, uh, you do you, buddy. <laughs> I'm going to leave that message up. Because someone else might need, might need that strength today. I'm an advocate for true love. Okay. Right. God requires man's assistance to set life's balance straight. Not only for his own sake, but for all that will occur from this point forward. God is not an entity separate from you, nor is it a living power to fear or worship. Instead, God is within you. God formulates part of you. And once you realise, God will grant. And once you realise, God will grant you living proof. I need nothing from you but your conscious connection Positive energy, compassion, companionship and love. 
I am I. You should be able to say that to your wife, shouldn't you? I need nothing from you but your conscious connection, positive energy, compassion, companionship and love and vice versa. Your total lifespan is your offering to me. You add to my living life force and life frame. I need for you to love this journey and your life experience for in doing so you channel these to me. I am I. I respect man, but does man respect me? What is said and done to life is equally done unto me. Earth is my body. It is man's <laughs> to explore. And then I actually just had a little misread here. That word kindly there I saw as the word kinky. Anyway, treat it kindly, with respect, with love and respect. I am I. Treat it kinkily, with love and respect. I am I. Bring on the kinky fuckery. Okay. <sighs> right, guys. Let's um read this card, Becoming. What are we becoming? Love, love in motion. The journey of love. I try and be back on for about midday-ish if, uh, if anyone's like interested in knowing that. It's uh, 11.20 soon. <laughs> so in about 40, say about 45 minutes or so. Um, 34, if you would like to catch me live, unless obviously something like crops up, but that's my intention. I'll be back on. Let's continue this. Yes, you are manifesting your divine purpose. Yet what is happening now is just one of many inspired brushstrokes on the canvas of your life's work. You are the artist who paints with trust instinctive and spontaneous with faith in the process unfolding you are not the painter using numbered squares who has a finished vision even even before commencing the task with a map for all steps of the journey your lack of plan renders you open and receptive to divine direction you are capable of being moved by spirit. You are a brave adventurer. So celebrate what you are creating now and realise that it is a step in your major work of divine art. This life of yours, not to be planned, but to be experienced. Stroke after stroke, step after step, you shall witness the picture come into life. It may not be what you expected, but it will be the most beautiful, extraordinary creation. This oracle brings you comfort that you are blossoming and each petal unfolding is another step closer to your ultimate divine fulfilment. There is a relationship. It doesn't say that. <laughs> well, it does. But should we have a look at this? <clears throat> There is a message, there is a message here too, that a relationship or project that you are keen to move forward will bloom in its own unique way. Give it breathing room and be willing to let it become what it seeks to be. Even without a clear direction or plan, sometimes even because of that, there is an inner plan that can come to fruition. Okay. 11.22 is the time. And here's the poem. Take heed, my friend, for time is ticking fast. Illusion grand in hopes this dream will last. Such memories we keep for days to come. A looking glass that only shows what's done. It would be sad to think there's nothing more. A well-worn path reflecting what's in store. 
God's gift was not that days would be the same. Each dawn's first light would sing a fresh refrain. Of light and cloud to bathe the earth's surprise, with change of foot to stop would be unwise. A palette rich await, awaits the artist's brush, creating life at one with God's soft touch. Okay, I'm not going just yet because I'm going to leave her a roomy message. <clears throat> just prolonging it. You know, I've got two, four, six, eight, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen decks of cards that I've not even touched yet. What do you say about that then? <laughs> All in good time, in yes, all in good time. Okay, look, we're going to finish this portion of the reading. Um, portion one, but you're going to have a three course meal, a five course meal, <laughs> however many courses you desire. We have the right choice. Okay, card number 29. <coughs> Excuse me, I just cleared my throat. We're out of coffee now. There's more in the cupboard. It's not that uh, drastic. Okay, 29, the right choice. Stay close to those who know about the heart. Choose the shade of a tree that is in constant bloom. Don't meander aimlessly among the herb sellers and potion vendors. Go directly to the shop that sells nothing but sweets. Don't sit waiting by every boiling pot to have your plate filled. Not every boiling pot is cooking what you want. Not every sugar cane is filled with sugar. Not every down has an up, not every eye has vision, not every sea contains a pearl. Rumi. Within you, I recognise my most trusted friend. Ah, we go back a long way to before that moment when time began. We knew each other then, even before time was born. So I say, hello my old and dear friend, so lovely for us to meet again. And I feel how your heart responds with a wave of love, for it is that love that is you, my most trusted friend. On the path of love, there is not so much wrong and right in the moral sense, so much as what is right or wrong for you. The mind cannot help so much here, only the heart can speak, such truths. The mind may reject it, recoil, analyse and find all the reasons why the simple truth, the right choice of the heart, cannot possibly work and only lead to pain. That is what the mind does rather well actually, but it doesn't mean the right choice, the heart choice becomes incorrect. I think somebody's knocking at my door. Just bear with me for a second. Somebody at the door. Hold on, I've got the heating on it. We're going to turn that down. It is a bit warm. And also, that knock on the door was a reminder that Jasper was waiting at the back door. He doesn't spend long periods of time 
outside normally, but I, I called him, but he was in the neighbour's garden sunbathing, so I left him now. So, but he was waiting to come in. It's like he's starving. He's only been out there for what, an hour, for 75 minutes. The poor boy. He's okay. It's not like it's raining. I've left him out in the rain in the cold. I left him sunbathing. No, it's okay. There was a parcel. Um, right, let's continue. <clears throat> the mind may reject it, recoil, analyse and find all the reasons why the simple truth, the right choice of the heart, cannot possibly work and only lead to pain. This is what the mind does rather well, actually. But it doesn't mean the right choice, the heart choice, becomes incorrect. It means rather that the heart has outsmarted the mind and the mind will need to bow to the heart even without understanding its sometimes impenetrable, impenetrable, am I saying that right? Impenetrable. I am. Mysteries. <laughs> or one can choose to stay in inner conflict, fighting against the right choice, but eventually love will prevail and the way forward must be taken. So can you give up what you have planned, believed or decided? Let the heart wisdom that silently and constantly broadcasts its pure and true intention into the fertile womb of the universe lead the way instead. Uh, interesting, because I just had a message come through. Um, and it's about the arcade. And who's opening up Easter Monday? Bank Holiday Monday and no one. So we will close. There we go. I've got Monday off because everyone else is not going to work. <laughs> now the shops are opening in the arcade, which means the arcade will not be open. The gates will not be opened. And it means that there's a, no point in opening, apparently. That's fine. Very nice. So, <laughs> the right choice. Yeah. <clears throat> So can you give up what you have planned, believed or decided? Let the heart wisdom that silently and constantly broadcasts its pure and true intention into the fertile womb of the universe lead the way instead. It will lead you along the right path to the right house where sits the right master for you. He grabs you in a bear hug and gently whispers into your ear, what took you so long? I've been waiting for you since the day you were born. Now we are together. It is time for us to play. It is said that one man's meat is another man's poison. To base your choices on what others... Sorry, hold on. I've got all these messages coming through. We've just hit the 20% battery mark. Um... And I have all this chat that's coming up, um, notifications, so. It is said that one man's meat is another man's poison. To base your choices on what others have chosen for, them, for themselves may end up killing you. Better to take your risks on the angel of your own heart, wise as that being is, and dance to your own heart rhythm instead. There may be fear if others seem to be dancing different steps. Oh my goodness, that was a message directly for me then. I saw my name come up. Lucy, <laughs> can I inform? I need to inform the lady who opens and locks the gates that she can have Monday off. <laughs> I will do that and she'll be pleased to hear that. Um, I'm so sorry, guys. I've got some work distractions, uh, pop-ups. Pop but um, I don't need to deal with them, apart from just, you know, hide the messages. Right. There may be fear if others seem to be dancing different steps, but beloved, you know that is just because every heart has its own unique rhythm and yours doesn't want to waltz so much as to tango. 
So why not allow it to be thus, without fear or doubt? Gal, gal, take the ribbon, the ribbon, <laughs> the ribbon from your hair. Take the ribbon from your hair, shake it loose, and let it fall happily. This oracle comes with a message for you. In your heart, you know what holds meaning for you. You may or may not have a grand vision to go along with that meaning as yet, but deep within, you know what is without value and what holds value for you. You were born with those values intact in your heart and whatever confusion has arisen for you along the way is just where the values of others have transfused into your own blood. It is time for a transfusion of holy light into that blood to be cleansed and purified, restored to its integrity and filled with passion for what is rightfully yours, your unique passion and purpose. If you have been concerned about your path and what steps to take next, this oracle comes as an omen of good things headed your way, clarity, reassurance, truth and revelation. Don't hold on to a belief system or vision if it appears to be tossed on its head. Let things go the way they will and good fortune will prevail for you. That vision might actually have been upside down all this time and suddenly able to right itself and be born for you if allowed to topple. Or perhaps there is a more fulfilling version of your vision lurking in its remnants to be scooped up by your soul with its hawk vision and eagle deftness. Trust that if you are being drawn away from a tantalising sweet shop, there is a more delicious array of confection just around the corner for you. So yes, have your tantrum if you must. But you will be sheepish. You, you will be sheepish. <laughs> you will be sheepish soon when you realise the hand of the great beloved that removes is the same hand that bestows even greater gifts. And I am going to be removing myself for the time being. I'll be back. Well, it seems about twenty-five minutes, but give me about half an hour or so. I'll catch up with you just after mid midday, guys, because we've still got a. How many decks of cards did I say? I can't remember. I think it might have been 13. Okay. Unlucky for some, but not for you, because you're not superstitious, are you? No. Right then. I'll catch up with you guys soon. So until then, take care, much love. Bye for now.